Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video for the Built to Last crew. Thanks so much for asking me to be a part of this project. Um, very honored to have been the first guest and uh, honored that they would ask for me to just share a little bit about how I've uh, been able to handle COVID here and answer a few questions. Um, I think there's lots of little things that we've done. You know, we've obviously called the guys. We've tried to share as much as we can. Um, early on, we really talked about kind of um, what it's meant to have things taken away, um, you know, kind of in your life and how you've been able to respond to that. And that's going to be something that's not just for right now, but things during the, your entire life. Um, you're going to have to respond to adversity and whatever there's a challenge, there's an opportunity. And so from a practical standpoint, uh, we've started opening up our staff meetings and then meetings with players with just a fun fact, you know. So I think the last one we had is if we were on death row, what would we, what would we eat? Um, or what's our favorite movie or different things. And you'd be surprised about how much um, you learn about people when you ask silly questions like that. So that's been fun. I think that's a practical thing to throw in, especially in these Zoom meetings that can get you know, uh, mundane. Um, I really think it's just um, an appreciation for what you have. I think, you know, um, so much of what we have is, is a blessing. And um, I heard somebody say once that, you know, what if you woke up tomorrow with only the things that uh, you thanked God for yesterday? And uh, it always hit home with me in terms of just making sure that we are constantly showing an attitude of gratitude and um, making sure that we are uh, giving all of the, you know, the honor to him and what he's given us. And, and it's okay to, uh, to hit pause. I think the world has gone on um, without, you know, some sport and all these things that we hold as idols. And, um, and so... Uh, to see that the world could hit pause and we'd be okay, and you know, um, I think that's a that's an important lesson that we'll we'll all uh, remember for the rest of our lives. I think. There is no such thing as work-life balance. I think there's seasons of life. I think you're gonna, to be great at anything, you're gonna live in extremes. And so to be a great coach, you're gonna have to live in that extreme, which means a sacrifice uh, in other areas. I think the, the message there is know what your priorities are and prioritize them, you know? And so if church and going to church is a priority for you, make that, you know, schedule that as if it was a, a lifting session or uh, practice or, or whatever, and, uh, and make sure you're there and make sure you're, you know, um, that it, you protect that time. Um, and so when I'm home, I'm 100% home. Um, and when I'm at work, I'm 100% at work. And I think that if you do that and you just give your all everywhere you're at, I think people will respect uh, that about you. Um, I think Philippians, I think 4.4 is just rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Um, I think even in times like this, uh, we have to rejoice. We have to, and we, again, we have to thank God for all the blessings that we've had and and, um, and, and make sure that we understand um, that things can be taken from us at any time. And, uh, you know, we're really put on this earth to make a difference and do his, his glory. So, um, you know, even if we got jobs taken away, money taken away, uh, houses taken away, everything, um, ultimately it comes back to making sure that we're doing um, God's work and, and, uh, and everything will be okay. To me, that really is just kind of equal parts, mind, body, and soul. And uh, I think if you're, you're constantly kind of building yourself um, and pouring knowledge into, making sure that you stay healthy um, and make sure that you're, you're, you're feeding yourself spiritually, I think um, uh, powerful things can happen. And, um, and ultimately, uh, you have a, a chance to make a bigger impact 
um, if those three areas in your life are solid and it's built on a strong foundation. Um, and so I hope that helps. Appreciate you guys. Great job. One year uh, on the podcast. And uh, thanks so much for letting me be a part of it.